Hi Fight Fans, welcome back to my channel, I'm Wes the Best. On the 9th of October 2021, boxing's elite division produced a thrilling trilogy fight between Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder and Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Five knockdowns were recorded between the two heavyweights in that fight, with Wilder receiving the worst punishment of his career. After that night, many Fight Fans were concerned about his recovery after seeing how bloodied his face was. Since that defeat, we haven't really heard much from Deontay Wilder. It remains to be seen if Wilder will be making a return to the ring soon. So, many Fight Fans have been asking, what does the future hold for Deontay Wilder? At 36, is he ever going to bounce back after suffering that bloody battering from Tyson Fury? Who should his opponent be if he eventually makes a return? These and many more will form our discussion today. But before I get things started, do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that notification bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. Alright, let's begin. Having held the WBC Heavyweight Championship up for many years, it was a big blow for Deontay Wilder to watch his crown be handed over to Tyson Fury after suffering a TKO loss back in February of 2020. He didn't see that coming. And in his first fight against the Gypsy King back in 2018, he scored two knockdowns and coming into the second bout, he thought he would finally put Fury to sleep. But it was Fury who stopped Wilder. Seeking revenge for that dent in his heavyweight career, Wilder marched into the ring the third time against Fury on October 2021. But instead of getting revenge, he got whooped by Fury and was finally knocked out. How Fury took him out in the 11th is enough to batter any man's spirit. As he bled through the ear and mouth, staggered his way out of the arena, the question I kept asking was, would Deontay Wilder ever recover from this? So it wasn't surprising that he took some time off from the spotlight. But in a recent interview he granted to Telly Swift, Wilder said, I'm feeling great, I'm doing great. We didn't get what we wanted, but we still got something out of it. Talking about getting something out of it, probably Wilder is mentioning about realizing how badly he needs to learn the rudiments of boxing or how to utilize his height and reach to throw an excellent jab at his opponents. Again, he could also be talking about learning how to show sportsmanship, even in defeat. These are possible interpretations of the above statement by the Bronze Bomber, but whatever he means by that is entirely up to him. On whether the 36-year-old Alabama-born heavyweight is ever going to bounce back after suffering that bloody battering from Tyson Fury, Wilder stated in the interview that, I'm still in love with the sport of boxing. Although I have accomplished a lot of things, more than I could have imagined. I do still have goals in the sport. That's why I still have love for it. I'm looking to accomplish the goals that I still have left. From what Wilder said above, it's pretty apparent that he still has some unfinished business in the sport. But what could this unfinished business be? After reigning as the WBC heavyweight champion of the world for five years and making 10 successful defenses, what other goals might the Bronze Bomber have for the sport? Is Wilder planning to storm the heavyweight division and reclaim his top spot in the division? Well, these are possible goals for Deontay Wilder. But are these goals feasible? Can he reclaim the WBC belt from Fury or hunt for the other championship belts to become a two-time heavyweight champion of the world? Well, to me, it's definitely possible to bounce back from defeats. Great fighters bounce back from defeats and reclaim what they feel is theirs. That's what makes them great. Talk about Muhammad Ali after his losses to Leon Spinks in 1978 and Joe Frazier in 1971. He returned stronger. Talk about Lennox Lewis after his losses to Oliver McCall in 1994 and Haseem Rahman in 2001. He bounced back. Other fighters like George Foreman, Bernard Hopkins, and Mike Tyson also lost their belts and came back later in their careers to become world champions. So if Deontay Wilder dreams of reclaiming his belts, there is a possibility that he might succeed, but not in the hands of Tyson Fury. Suppose Fury remains undefeated and reigns as the undisputed heavyweight champion. In that case, Wilder may need to reignite his career with some smaller fights where he would need to box around, take his boxing fundamentals to the next level, and not just aim to knock people out. Right now, we all know that Deontay's right hand can kill, but we can't say that about his boxing ability. So, if he has a goal of coming back to win a title, his trainer may need to advise him to do less headhunting and more boxing. At 36, some fans may argue that what he didn't learn in his 20s, he ain't gonna learn at 36. And they may be correct, but it depends on Wilder to prove them otherwise. 
Further in the interview, Wilder gave his fans hope of a possible quick return to the ring when he said, I broke my hand, so I'm in the healing process right now. Once this is over, I'll resume training for sure. After this, I'm looking to get right back in it. I think with this interview, Wilder has allayed the fear of many fans that he might not be returning to boxing after that hammering from Fury. He has also given other fighters a hint about his ambition and goals in the sport. What is left unsaid is a possible date for his return. But whenever he does return, fans would love to see a better fighter and Wilder than the one who fought Fury. That's going to be it for today's segment. Do you think Wilder stands a chance to become a two-time heavyweight champion of the world when he returns? Share your opinions down in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, please hit that like button. And also hit that subscribe and notification bell and get notified whenever we drop our next video. See you guys soon.